guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hi, my name is Madison. I post college related videos specifically based around nursing since I am in nursing school and I start my fourth and last semester in just a couple weeks, which is so exciting. So I thought it would be a perfect time to do a video on the things that I wish I knew before starting nursing school that probably would have made the transition a little bit easier, maybe got me more excited. And I have all of my notes on my iPad, so I'm just gonna be reading off the list that I made. I know the school year is just around the corner for fall semester, so I'm sure the ones that are watching this are going back to nursing school or are just starting nursing school or pre-nursing or thinking about nursing. And I wanted to let you guys know that you can do it. There is going to be a lot of people probably in your you know real everyday life also online that's going to kind of get in your ear about oh like it is extremely hard it is this it is that which yes it is hard but it is a hundred percent doable and you can do it and you just have to believe in yourself that's like the main thing you have to believe in yourself you have to kind of shut out the chatter of the world social media everything else because you can do it let's go ahead and get started with the things that i wish i knew before starting nursing school so the first thing that i wish i knew before starting nursing school was you are going to make the most amazing friends that are probably going to last you a lifetime. The friends that I met in nursing school, they are so amazing. They're just such genuinely good people and it makes me so happy. I mean, I just wish I knew the amazing people that I was going to meet. It would have made me so much more excited because I was nervous going into it. I'm like, I don't know anybody and it, it's scary, you know, and it, I mean, the friends that you are going to meet is just such a blessing and that is probably one of the best things about nursing school is the people. So the next thing that I wish I knew about nursing school was the grading scale. So the grading scale is a lot different. Every grading scale for nursing is different, but at my school, anything below a 78% is failing. So if you get like a 77.9, you fail. And I have never had a professor who rounds. So like you're stuck with that grade. And I believe it's a 94 and up is an A. So, you know, I think in normal college classes, like a 90 to 100 would be an A, an 80 to like 89 would be a B. And I know in some high schools, it's like that. In my high school, it was actually what my nursing school grading scale was. So like a 94 to 100 was an A. So I was used to that in high school, but then going to college, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so nice. 90 to 100 is an A. So then I got used to that in like my prereq classes and stuff. And then you get kind of thrown into nursing school and you're just like, oh my gosh. Again, every school is different. I know some it's uh, 76 is below 76 is failing, but mine is below 78. So you can get a 78 and pass. That's going to be a, a very, very low C. So just keep that in mind. Check your school just so you know going in like, hey, okay, this is what I need to get and let me tell you if you are someone who strives for A's like I was always like that especially in like pre-nursing and stuff when I was taking stuff seriously in nursing school me and all my friends and most people it's like okay what do I need to pass this class just be aware of the grading scale because it's probably going to be different than the prereqs or what you're used to. The third thing was the requirements that have to be done not only before nursing school but before each clinical rotation. So for example each semester we have to get drug tested and you also each year have to get your TB test done. So I believe it's every like October and every May we have to go and get drug tested and then I always redo like my TB test that always expires in May so I do that and I just didn't know all these little things that you kind of have to stay on top of and we use this program called ACEMAP and ACEMAP kind of has all of our requirements that are due and I just didn't realize all this stuff that you kind of have to keep up to date on. Also for each clinical, normally you have to go through like an orientation online thing that you have to do or you have to meet certain requirements for that clinical site and if you are late, you are out of the clinical, like you could be a day late. They're like, sorry, you didn't get this done. So you really have to be on top of these like requirements. Again, it's different for every hospital, but sometimes it does take time. So it's like you have to pay attention to the emails that you're getting, your requirements. You have to stay on top of stuff because you don't want to have to be out a semester because you weren't on top of things. So that was something I just didn't even really think of that definitely is super important that you need to stay on top of. So the next thing that I wish I knew is the select all that apply questions. I feel like I heard about them like in pre-nursing, never knew what they were in 
nursing, you really have to know how to apply it. So the questions are concept based questions. So it's going to give you like a scenario, like you come into the hospital and your patient has this, 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 these are their vitals. What are these manifestations of? And a tip that I have for select all that applies, which helps so much. And sometimes I forget because when I see them, like the select all apply come up on the exam, I'm like, oh my gosh, I select all that apply, but take it. So read your question and say it's like A through E, okay? Select all that apply. And if you don't know what that means, it means that like, instead of just multiple choice, like just sees the answer, it could be like A, B, C, and D or something like that. It could be all of them. It could be all above, you know, but go through each option one by one, read the question and be like, okay, is this true or false? So kind of break them down as true or false each option. And that will help you a lot. It helps me again, when I see the select all, I still freak out as a four semester nursing student. I'm like, oh my gosh, but you just have to just take your time and they do become easier like as you go on, but they're still stressful, but it, you know, you get used to them. All right, the next thing that I wish I knew was kind of the general setup of nursing school. So nursing school is a lot different than pre-nursing. You have like your general pre-nursing classes with labs, but in nursing school, you have lecture, lab, and clinical. So lecture is where you have a professor who is lecturing to you the material. In lab is where you do skills. So skills will be Anything you do as a nurse, you know, so like IVs, Foley insertion, Foley removal, IV removal, medication administration, injections. There's just so much. That's where you're practicing the skills. So learning and lecture about patients with diabetes. Then in lab, you'll be learning about how to give them insulin, stuff like that. And then clinical is where you get to go into a hospital setting, uh, any healthcare setting. So like uh, nursing home, hospital, anything like that. And that is where you are working with patients, real life patients. And you normally will have like a clinical group and a clinical instructor. And that's when you're working with the patients actually. So kind of all ties together. You're learning this in lecture, you're practicing the skills in lab, and then you get to go to clinical and perform them on real patients and be the student nurse. So next thing I wish I knew, this kind of goes with the last one a little bit, and that is skill checkoff. So I had no idea about checkoffs. And so what checkoffs are is normally it's in lab and you will, it's kind of like a little test. So you'll go in one-on-one -on -one with an instructor and you'll have to perform the skills you learned in lab as like a checkoff. So like the big one in nursing school is the head to toe checkoff. That is like the biggest thing. Um, and that was my first eight weeks of nursing school, my first like semester. They're a little bit nerve wracking, but actually it's beneficial being checked off because then you're like, okay, I have to learn this stuff because I'm getting checked off and you want to, you know, be able to take the best care of your patient and know that stuff. So it, it all works out. It's a little bit nerve wracking, but it, you know, you get through it. And I feel like the head to toe assessment was the most stressful because it's kind of like the most things you have to remember. And it's like, once you get through that, it's like, whew, all right, I'm fine doing IVs. I'm okay doing medication administration. I'm okay putting in a Foley, you know? And again, I think it's just because the head to toe assessment, you do it at the beginning normally. And so you're just a little nursing student. You don't know anything yet and you're very nervous and that's okay. And you will get through, but it, you just learn so much through those checkoffs and it makes you feel more confident for when you go to clinical and do it on a real patient. The next thing that I wish I knew before nursing school was that organization is key. I have always been a very organized person. I've always loved like school and being organized and like having a planner and stuff like that. But if you are not organized, you are going to maybe miss assignments, not have papers turned in. You just need to get like an agenda and have everything written out, whether that be electronically, like I've seen people do like on iPads and have like planners or physical copies. I prefer a physical copy, but you have to be organized. You have to know if you work, what days you're working, when you can study and just stuff like that. You really need to be like on it organization wise because it is just going to make your life so much easier. Another thing that I wish I knew for starting nursing school was how much you are going to learn. Like you learn so much and at the end of each week or each month or each semester, 
like I always sit back and I'm like oh my gosh like I just learned so much I didn't even think it was possible to absorb as much as I did this kind of goes with it is how fast like I wish I knew how fast nursing school would go because you are like on it you are going 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 and it just flies by like it goes by so fast I can't believe I'm in my fourth semester each day is gonna feel like oh it's so long but when you look back you're like oh my gosh like this flew by it's going so fast and just really take in every day because it's, it's just a really great experience overall it's stressful but it's amazing another thing I wish I knew before starting nursing school was that you can work and be in nursing school you can have kids and be in nursing school I've mentioned this in videos before I mentioned it to people in real life my classmates who are moms and who work full-time or just work part-time but you can work full-time they're the ones who do the best moms or dads in work and you're probably like what like that doesn't make sense and i think it's just like the time management and it's like okay like i know that this is what i have to do to pass or get this done and i'm willing to work my butt off and like you can work in nursing school like i promise you i am sure it is so tough at first but once you get into a routine like everyone who i know who works and have kids they do way better than me and way better than other people who don't have kids because they are just extremely dedicated not that I'm not dedicated but because I have more free time I feel like I'm not that good at time management because I'm like okay well I'll just lay for a little or you know you can work and don't let anyone tell you oh my gosh like you can't work or you can't like have kids but you can do it like I promise you you can do it the last thing that I wish I knew before starting nursing school was that it is okay to question or doubt yourself and you're gonna probably do it a lot my first semester when I was like doubting myself I'm like oh my gosh can I do this like this is just the first semester I was like maybe I'm not meant to be a nurse if I'm questioning myself but it is normal to do that this is a very different experience from anything you've probably experienced before and especially with you know a pandemic going on and it's just crazy you are going to question yourself you're going to doubt your abilities to do certain things but you have to persevere you have to push through and prove to yourself and everyone else that you can do it and that it is so possible and that you are going to do it and you are going to succeed you will i promise if you just truly set your mind to it and believe in yourself that you have everything within you you are going to do amazing so those are the things that i wish i knew before starting nursing school i hope you guys are all doing well and if you guys have any video requests or questions make sure you leave them in the comments down below i'll have my social medias my po box everything linked down below as well i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye